Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the initial setup for the Lamborghini Aventador project. Okay, so in order to begin, uh, I'm just gonna make sure my construction options are good. So I'm gonna go to preferences, user preferences, and I'm going to, oh, not user preferences, I'm gonna go over here to construction options. I'm just gonna make sure these numbers look good. So for the max, uh, the position, I'm going to set it up at uh, 0.01, uh, tangent at 0.1, and curvature at 0.1. And for the trim curve fit, I'm gonna set it up at 0.001, and the maximum between curves, I'm going to set it at 0.01. Okay, so those numbers look good, so I'm just going to turn that off, and in order to start, I'm going to create a cube. So I'm just going to create a cube, and I'm going to enter zero, like this, over here, and I'm going to press enter. In order to place a cube in the middle, and you'll notice that it is, a, uh, basically the ground plane is occurring through it, so I'm going to have to place that. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure uh, that we create a cube that is ex uh, exact a dimension of the car that we're going to create. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, right now I have all the dimensions up in the Wikipedia page for the Lamborghini Aventador. So it looks like the length is 4780. So I'm going to go ahead, turn the information window on, and I'm going to adjust the scale. So 4780, and enter there we go we got the length for the width looks like uh we're going to do the width without the mirrors so it's a 2030 2030 and for the height it looks like it's 1136 so for on the last column which is responsible for z i'm going to press a 1136 i'm going to say enter okay so this is basically the size of the Aventador in the one to one scale. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to the side view and looks uh, the ground plane is cutting through it. So I'm just going to place the pivot here. I'm gonna raise it up like this and that's going to give us a good dimension and the box to start with. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna put this over here and I'm going to call this ref or canvas uh, reference uh, short for uh, reference. So I'm just going to uh, do that over there. Okay, so now let's start importing some canvases. So I'm just going to go import. I'm going to say canvas image. And you want to make sure that this is turned on. Now, I believe that this is turned off by default, but you also want, uh, you really want to make sure that when you are importing multiple canvases, that this is turned on. Otherwise, it's going to basically stack on top of each other and you won't be able to individually select them. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that this is on. I'm gonna say go, I'm gonna go to the desktop. Okay, so all the images, are, the canvas images are cropped to their respective uh, positions. So I'm gonna say, for uh, since we're already in side view, I'm gonna say side. Now this is quite a low resolution canvas image, but this is the only thing that I could find on the internet. So we're gonna be using this. Okay, so for transparency, I'm going to turn it down to maybe 0.2. And let's see if we can place it over here. Okay, so I'm just going to, uh, with the canvas, um, this was updated, I think probably a couple of years ago. Uh, you are able to move the pivot on the canvas too. So I'm just going to move it right over here and I'm going to snap it here. And I'm just going to scale it down. And it looks like that's actually a pretty good fit. So I am quite happy with that. Okay. And I might move it down just a little bit. Okay, so I think that's good. So we got the side view. And with the side view image, I'm just going to place it. Oh, I'm just going to move it using the right uh, middle mouse button so that it just moves in Y direction. And I'm just gonna place it out here so that it doesn't interfere with the modeling. Okay, so that looks good. And I'm going to import uh, the top image. So I'm gonna, again, go to canvas image, make sure that this always create new canvas is on. Press go, and I'm going to select top. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to move the pivot over here like this. 
looks like we are unable to get a snap over here. Well, which is fine. I'm, I'm just going to snap it over here. And I'm just going to scale it down like this and make sure that it fits nicely within the box. Okay, so looks like that does. And I'm just going to move the pivot down over here a little bit. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm just I might just move it just a little bit over here. I might scale it just a tiny little bit like this. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now for the front image, actually for the top view, well, actually I'm just going to move it just, just a bit. So I'm going to say move like that. Now, in order to do the rear, I'm going to press F7, go to a rear view, and I'm going to say import again. Oh, not that one. Import canvas image, and I'm going to place the rear over here. Go center pivot, and I'm going to move the pivot onto this line over here. And again, I'm just going to snap it over here. And maybe I'll move, I want to move the pivot up like that. And I'm just going to scale it down. Okay, so looks like... Wait, actually the height matches. So, so I, th I guess that's good. All right, so that looks pretty good. I might try to center just a little bit like that. I think that looks good. And now for the rear canvas, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push it a little bit forward so that when I'm modeling in the rear, the canvas is actually behind the surfaces. So I'm going to just place it like that. And uh, for the, well, let's create a new layer for the rear one. So I'm going to say rear like this. And I'm going to hide that. And let's go back to, to the rear view and I'm going to say import canvas image. And finally, I'm going to import the front canvas. Okay, so same thing over here. I'm just going to move the pivot down to the end of the image like this. And I'm going to snap it over here. And again, I'm, going, I'm just going to scale it down so that it fits within the box. Okay, so I think the height looks good. The width looks pretty good. So I would say that's a pretty good match. Okay, so this one, I'm going to also create a new layer and I'm going to uh, name this one front. And I'm going to set this as a reference. And I'm gonna set this as a reference so that when I try to move it, it won't move, okay. Because if uh, if you accidentally if you model this uh, all the models according to the canvas and, and the canvas accidentally moves, so that's a, that's not going to be um, a good thing because all your surfaces are based on that. So you just want to make sure that it's uh, set it as a reference. And I'm going to place this one. Well, actually, this one needs to be placed over here. So I'm yeah, that is good. Okay, so I think we are done with the initial setup. Actually, let me just move this just a little bit more. So we got all the canvases in and we got the box for the dimensions. So I think we are ready to start modeling. Okay, so that's it for the first, uh, first part and the initial setup for the Lamborghini Aventador project. We will continue in the next tutorial and thank you guys for watching.